Generic greetings and welcome to another Brick in the Mall, specifically episode 1 of a brand new series where we'll be going through and making, unsurprisingly, a mall. I featured this a couple of times on the channel and there was a lot of call for a series, so here we are. So, before we crack on into this, I need to give you fair warning. Firstly, the game is still heavily in development. As you can see from the bottom there, it's version 0.1.7.3, which means it isn't finished yet. Expect bugs, expect weird glitches and just things that aren't finished. Also, there is often builds release for this, so you know that's normally a good thing, but often they will break save. So if the series just stops for no reason, you know that it's almost certainly a problem with the saving compatibility with the new version, things like that. It doesn't mean we won't restart it and continue on and uh, things like that, but we will uh, have to probably leave it at some point when the saves get either corrupted or the series ends. Hopefully it's the latter rather than the former. But let's crack on into this. Let's go to new game. Game and we need to set up our options. So we got start with tutorial, start without. I'm going to say start with the tutorial. I've played about five hours of the game, so I'm not a novice at it, but I like the hand holding for the first couple of episodes just to get us into it and also explains how the game works and things like that for people who may not be familiar with it. We've also got all the sandbox options, so start with 50,000 generic units of currency, start with 200,000 generic units of currency, or have unlimited funds. We're not going to do a sandbox, we're going to go with the 200,000. We've got normal research or unlock all the projects at the start, at start. I don't like that, I like the research bit. And then we've got normal builders or fast builders. I was tempted to go for fast, but we'll stick with the normal and we will click start so pause it for a second and you can see hello and welcome you have somehow inherited this massive land that is quite a bit of land i mean if we've got like I don't know, if we've got like oil under this, then we're pretty much set for life, but otherwise we'll have to flog it to the highest bidder. Or build them all on it. Oh, I think we'll do that. So we will. Uh, regional planning, however, forbids residential or industrial zoning in the area. Commercial is our only option. Okay, let's turn it into a massive drugs farm. No, we won't. Uh, so, WSD to move around. Yes, and then we can click continue, blah, blah, blah. So, what we need to do is build some foundations. So we'll click to build, and then we'll go over to over to foundations, and then clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy, and there we go. We get a 20 by 8, and then we need to actually fast forward time because we are literally God because we can speed up time. Or, or Father Christmas, depending on uh, what you believe, because, you know, he, the, whole, the whole point is he's supposed to be able to slow down time, and that's how he delivers all of the presents to the people. True story. True story. Uh, right, so we... What have we what have we got to worry about? Well, we've got things like our customers on site, parking usage, sales, things like that. The overall objective for this series is just generally to play the game and have fun, but if we need an end goal, the end goal is not to build on this entire area that's not going to happen unless we end up 50 or 60 episodes in in which case we will be doing that and this uh, the previous comment is indeed false but the overall idea is not to build on this this huge pile of land. I don't think that's going to happen. We'll probably get maybe this section done. That's probably all we'll get. But well, it's not going to be a massively long series I don't think. Probably well, I'd be surprised if we get to 10 episodes put it that way. Either way, around here, let's just zoom in for a second while we while one up there got built. So around here the idea is to build around this area, and we want to have as uh, some sort of goal, I guess, mm, we'll say one of every building. So we'll have, I'm pretty sure, let's pause it. So one of every building, so we want to sell one of every item in the buildings, and we want to have things like all of the extra th stuff. So we're talking you know, cafeteria, restaurant, bowling alley, cinema, Things like that. That's the overall goal. And once we've done that, then we can either progress on or we can just leave it there. Anyway, so this is telling us we need to go to build and over to objects. And what we need to do is put some doors in because, well, you can't really get inside a building if there's no doors unless it's falling down or there's windows you want to break in. But that's a little bit too swatty for my liking. Let's go over to probably, well, walls, isn't it? And then click the walls down to the bottom. So it's uh, one by six. And it doesn't tell me the distance. I think it's, just, it's supposed to be one meter, I would assume, but it's just one square. And then we'll go over to objects once more, staff door, and then click and job done. We also need to assign this thing as storage. So we will do that, and then this thing as a store like so. And we also need to go back over to build. Good grief, it's giving us a lot of stuff to do here. We need to do shelf, so shelf, 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 and then food shelf, food shelf, food shelf, food shelf, and then down the bottom. And then finally, some checkout counters here. And as you can see, when you place a checkout counter, you get a little overlay to show where people will queue up. That that actually matters quite a bit. So, you will need to sell products on your shelves. Um, I need to 
go to select and then right click on the shelves and then set up the stuff there that's fine yes what i'll do is go to manage first and actually no we won't we'll, we'll probably leave that we'll follow the tutorial as as is what i was going to do is rename the store but for some reason this is called a store two but we'll rename this to um like generic outlet number one something like that and obviously the storage for the same thing so well the work is progressing on we've got the wall in here for the storage and then that was weird. She was working here, then she decided to uh, come out through the wall, in here, and then around. It's like, for this moment, she just temporarily gained some superpower to walk through walls. And, uh, yeah. Then she sort of lost it. Right. Strange. What do we need to do? Need to set products to sell on your shelves. Okay, right click, and we'll say, what can we have in here? Well, this store is going to be your sort of corner shop. It's going to have things that you need. So we're not going to be selling like tools and stuff like that because we don't need tools. Uh, household items, cookware, again, you don't necessarily need that all the time. Things that you would run out of quite regularly, I would say. So health and beauty, diapers, toilet, uh, t diapers, toilet paper and pads and tampons, I think, is generally a way to go. So we, what we do is we set the products for the store. And the food, we've got uh, candies, canned food, breakfast cereal, things like that. So what we'll do, we will have for we'll have candies as soon as you come in, and then we'll have next to it probably hmm, sliced bread, and then coffee and tea. The next one will be canned food, uh, breakfast cereal perhaps, and then finally pet food. I think that's a nice amount. I think that's about right. Uh, what's this? This is a loading zone we need to do now. So that's that's all set up, and eventually that will get sorted. But we do need a lo loading zone. So we'll change this down to... Uh, is it asking me to change it? Go to the roadworks, yes. And we want a loading zone. We'll place a loading zone there. And we need to sort out our storage. So we need to go to manage, and then go to... Manage tab, select your store on the list, and go to zone. So we've got store 2, which we will rename to... Um, Generic outlet one. Uh, don't know why I put GE. <laughs> Generic outlet one. And we will assign the storage, storage one, but we will go to storage one and it'll be generic outlet storage one. There we go. So we know that they are next to each other. This is the maintenance center. We will just main center one and that should do us quite nicely okay so back over to our outlet and we need to go to staff and we need to hire a cashier so we want someone who's good at cashiering so it looks like uh kathleen walter age 64 there you go cashier not too bad we'll hire that person i don't even know by the way if these stats are even used in the game yet i really don't know uh we need a stock clerk as well and we can see that oh there we go j griffin 30 is quite good at that as well okay congratulations on opening your first business yeah here's some tips for smooth expansion parking up will fill up quickly build more customer parking to uh, accommodate more visitors default opening hours are unambitious to say the least <laughs> manage your store we'll open it so it's earlier fine okay uh, offering great diversity will attract a lot more customers research projects unlocked sought after products such as fresh fruit clothes and alcohol finally have multiple businesses make your customers stay on site spell a whole lot more research build restaurants bowling alleys things like that and thank you for following the tutorial okay so we're on our own Mm, less than 10 minutes and that was well we're on our own we're flying blind now so we've got a couple of things at the bottom new objective open a business and sell different types of object th things like that we'll close them for now because we can actually see in our objectives here so we need to sell uh 10 different type of products turn a daily profit of over oh 100 generic units of currency it's actually dollars there i guess uh and make uh was it 100 total sales yeah fine we've also got research trees so we're currently going for food chain however however is that the way to go is that the way to go mm, probably probably i think electronics was uh, the way to actually sell actually no what i found is that selling selling where is it clothes 
Selling clothes was a great one. Now, where is it? Media, appliance, tools, luxury. No, that's jewellery. So where would it be? Clothing. Clothing supplier. I reckon we go for cold chain, maybe frozen food, perhaps, and then over to clothing. Because I've done clothing before. Uh, before? Before, and it uh, went quite well. So anyway, what's happening now is the delivery trucks will come in. They will bring in these massive crates, which are actually smaller when they're on the pallet rather than in here. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a dodgy throat, so... Uh, yeah, so they'll come in, they will drop that off, and, well, they will bring it into the storage here, which is good. We'll speed up to max speed, and we'll go to the next day. You can see the workers are coming in and doing not much. What we need to do is probably go over to manage and then over to our maintenance centre. We want to hire a janitor and it looks like it is Janet Faulkner, age 37. Welcome aboard. Obviously, they've got auto salaries on. I uh, can change it to manual salary. I'm not going to do that. Oh, it's all going to be manual unless we really do need to change it. I can't see why we would. With a starting time of 9, and then it's an 8-hour shift. There you go. You can, like, up it for some... Like, I, I, It's pretty good that you can, like, smash up these hours. I don't know if that has a negative effect on the person. I really don't know. It might, it might not. Uh, they, they do have hunger, satisfaction, bladder, things like that. But I don't know if it's... Uh, if it is actually implemented like it says satisfaction there for staff salary determined staff satisfaction and in turn satisfaction for general staff efficiency and you also have some traits as well hmm anyway so normal speed because as you can see we now have some items on the shelves so we've got tads, uh, pads and tampons we've got i think that is uh toiletries like toilet rolls and stuff yes it is and then we've got toothpaste there you go Oh no, pads and tampons are there, and diapers that side, okay. And then we've got canned food, breakfast cereals, candies, that sort of thing around here, and tea and coffee. Mmm, beverages. Ah, today's beverage is just water. <clears throat> As I said, got a dodgy throat for some reason, so it's a bit raspy. And drinking anything else would not probably be a good idea. Right, missed sales opportunity parking. Ooh, okay. So, because the parking was full, we could not actually get anyone else here. That's a problem already, is it? Okay, I didn't I didn't expect to see a problem with parking right this instant. Alright, okay. What we'll do, I think we will have the stores... Well, we need some more parking. Let's just go to build and we'll go to probably customer parking and we'll place parking all the way across here, like so. And then what we'll have is a road going along, and then maybe... We could probably go across and down and connect up to this so we get, like, another... end. This is another entrance, by the way, to from the edge of the map. And then connect those up, and that will allow us to get more people in. And then we'll... We'll need to, we'll need to make big car parks, I think. So what we'll do, we'll have a big car park here, so it comes down and along, and we'll have different grids for car park, car parking and such. And then we'll have the road going up and down, and then we'll have stores on the left. And then so it means we've got car parking essentially all down this side, and then the stores on the left. I think that's a decent way of doing it, but, you know, these plans may change as we progress on. But that seems to be our first day of sales. Not too bad. Six o'clock. In terms of our profit, obviously it's going right down there, but that's because we've just spent money on this bit. By the way, I'm, I've left this section. Because um, I was going to think about putting a star down here, but I don't think that's going to be the case. We're going to have this thing here. And we'll have a road that comes... How do we want to do this? Do you want to have a road coming... Along? I think along. And then we'll have another loading zone there then a road that goes hmm probably along a bit more then up how much does roads cost the roads cost almost nothing so it's no problem really like that and then we'll have another customer parking there 
And then what we'll probably have a do, what we'll probably do is have a road coming down here, and then have all this as customer parking. But as you can see, we now have people queuing up. Beep 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 beep. Lots and lots of money. Good good good. You can alter the price of the food shelves and pretty much any shelf, any item on there. But you can see we've got it to auto margin as well, so that's fine. As long as we got auto margin, that's not too bad. Profit is still in the negative, but remember this is a total profit for well it's profit <laughs> it's not expenditure it's profit in terms of expenditure well sales have gone up and actually in terms of our profit profit has i can't say increased i guess because we're still in the negative so we're not making any profit at all we're making we're a fairly big deficit but you have to understand that we are spending a bit as well so that's fine right so in terms of research we are 71 of 60 uh, 96 and then we'll go for things like uh, probably pizza or something like that. Frozen pizza. Mmm, I like frozen pizza. I like pizza. Just pizza's good. I recommend pizza. So, apparently missed sales opportunities was 24. Which is strange. What we'll do, we'll go to road and we'll place a road across here. Like that. And a road in there. And then that will allow us... Actually, no, 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 no. Cancel, 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 cancel. Road like that. Because then we can go for customer parking along here and along here. There you go. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know why. I don't know why she's decided to start building the road right in the centre. It's like I don't understand why when you well when a lot of people do tiling. Bit of an off topic here. Uh, the, instead of going in one corner and then working up and to the left or whatever from that corner outwards, they tend to slam a tile right in the centre and then work out from there. I think it's because if you do do it from one corner, it looks very uniform in them corners, but then when you get to the other side, it looks all cut off. I guess that's why. Yeah, I just worked it out there. Maybe that's the case. I really don't know. Wow, the bollocks I talk in these videos. Anyway, so, uh, as you can see, the, the people come in and then they find the items and then they jump up and down and have uh, love hearts flashing in their eyes and then they'll uh, stand on their phones being completely not sociable at all uh, while they're queuing up and such. There you go. But then, money, money, money. Because this is Capitalism Simulator 2016. Uh, we need an object. Our objective is to sell 10 different types of product. Well, we can actually go to build and go over to probably object. And we can't have fridge juice yet, but we're getting close to it. Let's just have a quick look on research. We are 79 out of 96. We'll just go to... Do we want to put some more in here? I think milk in here would be a good idea. And remember, you always put milk and bread at the back of the store, I believe is the general rule, because anything that's anything that people will come in for, like whatever the whatever the reason people are coming in for, um, you want to have the high turnover stuff at the back of the store, because they go through all of the other aisles and look around, and they might have an impulse purchase, or they might go, oh, I, that's right, I, I needed I needed dental floss, or I needed pet food, or I needed um, a, a, a 13 millimeter um, drill bit, whatever, you know, as they go through, they'll go, oh yeah, fine, no, I'll pick that up. So, yeah, that's why they do that. Uh, let's go over to build again, uh, and it will be in road work, and it'll be customer parking, and then we can put customer customer parking like so. Now, I'm not going to do these sections, because I like the little gap that we have. It just looks um, quite nice, but uh, this might look a bit dodgy. It looks like research has been completed, as you can see. We will start researching frozen food supplier, I think. We were going to go for alcohol license, but I think frozen food supply would be good. We've also got night hours, but I don't think we will have that just yet. We might do a bit more opening on this, but we'll see how it goes. Let's just go over to build and then over to objects, and we'll check our fridge, and we'll put a fridge in there, and then a fridge in there. Okay, and obviously max speed it. This will take a while to build because they are building the customer parking down here. But as you can see, the customer parking lines up quite well with that there. Excellent. Not bad. Right, so. Beep, beep, beep. Scanny, scanny, scan. Looks like Jay Leno's turned up. Oh, he's just a speed. Uh, some of the people you get, and it's like, hang on, that's Elvis. That's Jay Leno. That's, that's uh, Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, who drives a black sedan, apparently. <laughs> right, max speed. And we'll wait for these to be finished. Oh, they are finished, actually. Right, so we want to sell in this one. We've got beverages. Uh, no, we'll put put this one at the back. We'll say milk. 
And this one will have soda, bottled water, juices, fresh meat, fresh fish. I don't think we'll have fresh meat or fish in there. Soda? Soda or bottled water, juices? Uh, juices, I think. Actually, it would probably be dairy as well, wouldn't it? Actually, no, we'll change it to dairy. We'll change it to dairy, so cheeses and things like that, and uh, butter. Again, probably high turnover items. So that'll take a while to be filled, but that should give us a little bit of a boost, I believe, which is, oh, there you go, offer different types of products equals to 10. And we will have 11, technically, from that. Right, good. So, uh, that's another worker turning up. We want to go to manage and check our store. You can see we work at 8, although I think we'll, sorry, we'll, we'll go to starting hours is 8 on this one. That is our, oh, that's our janitor. Oops, hang on. We need to go to outlet. And we want the starting hour to be 8 o'clock. And opening hour, say, 8 till 6. Okay. Staff. And we'll say 8 till 6. There we go. And... There we go. I don't know why, but they've got like a ramp up. I don't know why there's a ramp up and ramp down. See that? Strange that. Either way, we've got them working 10 hour shifts. But we got auto duration. Actually, does it alter the salary? Yes, it does look. It automatically alters the salary, so that's fine. I'm just hoping that their satisfactions are kept. Oh, they've got, they've got tech addict. Can't resist laptops, smartphones, and tablets. Again, I don't know if that's actually implemented into the game. Obviously, it's showing that, but I don't know whether it is actually in. Um, and also, I'm not entirely sure if um, we'll have a massive effect on their selling and things like that. Like, if they worked in, like, the eye shop, then perhaps that would. Either way, the store is open, as you can see. We can click on our cashier, and... Oh, no, their needs are changing, as you can see. That's fine. But I think... We do need to go to manage and hire a cashier because we've only got the one, but we've got two checkouts. So there we go. And we'll say cashier. Well done. Ten hours. Excellent. And what we're going to have now is actually a bit of a problem because we're now selling this stuff. Uh, we've just got a couple of um, objectives done. There you go. Which was sell over, I believe... 100 items, make a total of 100 sales, which I think we've done, and sell 10 different types of products. We now have got 10 in total. Actually, it should be 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm. And it says 10 there. Glitches. Oh, well. So, we got some more objectives. Sell 20 different types of products, turn a daily profit of over... $100, or 100 generic units of currency slash generic credits, have 100 customers on site, we've got 13, and make 500 total sales. So one's more of a progression, one's more of uh, a... It's either a... One is you can progress throughout your play, we're currently on day 7. Other ones are a case of you will either get them or you won't. So you have to wait for a ticky box rather than a counter. So missed sales opportunities parking again. It's strange because they're not using these ones, are they? Let's have a max speed here. I don't know why. No available spots in the parking lot. That is a parking lot. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Anyway, we're going to go to build. I'm going to go to floor tiles. And you've got different types of floor and they do cost a bit. Um... 50 time. So, two grand to actually put the flooring in. Do I really want? No, I think we'll we'll just leave it as is. Because it doesn't do anything, as far as I can tell. It's just a look. Yeah, it just looks different. Or do we want to finish? No, we, we will finish our store before we move on. So, this one will have, I think, a standard white tile. And then our... What's that one? Like a floor type 6? Metal flooring in the back? Mm. We'll go with the standard concrete in the back, whereas in the front we'll have the white tiles. There we go. So, 
Yeah, people are parking over here. People are parking, that's fine. Right, so we will check here. We have now completed uh, the cold chain and the frozen food supplier. And we're now researching alcohol license. We could go for night hours, but I think we will go for... Mm, we haven't got restrooms. Probably research the project. That would be a good thing to go for. I think... Yes, I think restrooms would be better to go for. And then we'll go for things like tools and stuff. Right. So, the question is where do we go from here? Well, now that we've got frozen frozen goods, you can see that we've got a lot of things that we can sell. So, I think we make a frozen food store, but we need to work out just how many it would how how big it would be. So, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So, 10 total freezers. So, you could have a 5 and 5 Row 5 and then a row 5. That is possible. I am going to be building most of my stores with this orientation. So they are wider rather than taller. Simply because the game doesn't handle rotation very well. Now the last couple of patches have improved it. And I know that there are plans to add subsequent rotation options later on down the line. But at the moment only some objects can be rotated. And it just looks better this way. So we're going to be doing it that way. Right. So we need to work out just sort of what size we're going to have for the frozen food store, which I think we should put here. All right. So the frozen food store, if we have, say, two rows of five, so 10 freezers in total. Was it 10? Let's check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Over to build. Just check objects. You got fridge. And then you can have beer, but it's locked. And we're not going to sell beer in the frozen food store. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 in total. We're not going to have multiples of the same unless we can really avoid it. So you want at least 10 in total. And that's 10 wide. But you want a gap either side of it. So that's going to have to be internal of 12. And then you have to have your areas to sell it. So what you want really in terms of your foundations is if we go from, say, here and we go along, we will have it as, um, that's, uh, now is that 15? Let me cancel that. What's it classing that as? That's 14, it says, but is the internal 12? The internal is 12. So we actually want it pretty much... We're similar to this, I think. I think you can actually rotate these round as well. Hang on, let me check before we do this. It is, this is why, there's no planning tool in the game, is there? I don't think there is. Check out can, or can it be rotated? It can be rotated, right. So that actually changes things slightly. So what sort of size would this offer? Max Q size of 6 to there. Mm. But then if I'm completely honest with you, it's probably not the best way to put it down. Because it's only going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It'll be a 7 by something. It'll be 7 tall. Could even have it less if I'm honest with you. Because we could have a fridge at the top, gap, fridge there, gap. One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then that's it. But I could have a gap all the way around with the fridges. I think that's the. No, it's not the way to go. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's probably about the same size as that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because then I can have something like this. And then three checkouts. One, two, three. Which will come down these lines. And then... That means that we have to have a total of build foundations of eight. By, if it's five, we've already worked out it needs to be 12 either side plus extra room for checkout, plus this, which would equal a 
about, you know what, it's probably going to be 20 by 8. After all of that, I think it is a 20 by 8. Mm. Yeah. After all that, after all that, it is a 20 by 8. Oh well. Right, we are going to leave it there. We have planned off this next store, which will be our frozen food store. This is why I really want a planning tool. Uh, I'm too used to playing Prison Architect and uh, RimWorld games such as that, which I haven't featured RimWorld in a long time. I'll get onto it at some point, I'm sure. I'd prefer to do other things. As while well, we're featuring this, obviously. Uh, yeah, but the I'm used to a planning tool. I'm just so used to planning things off in, in, on, in a visible area rather than just in my head. But anyway, plan this off. It's now under construction. Next episode, we will build it. Frozen Food Store. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.